Today you are going to learn how to make mole conversions. These calculations use the principles of dimensional analysis that we learned how to use in Unit 1. Proper setup of each problem using units and appropriate conversion factors are very important. I want you to round your final answer to the correct number of significant figures. First you need to make sure you have a calculator and a periodic table. Let's recall the conversion factors that we will be using based on the molar relationships we have learned so far. We know that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules or atoms from unit 2 and that one mole is equal to the molar mass from unit 4. Take a moment to read problem number 1 on your worksheet. You are being asked to convert 3.50 moles to grams of carbon. So you will need to know how many grams of carbon are in one mole of carbon. Using your periodic table, determine the molar mass for carbon. You should determine this to be 12 grams. So one mole of carbon would have a mass of 12 grams. So now you are ready to set up problem number one. Make your t-chart and put the given, including units, in the top left box. Note that moles is the unit of the given, so you must put mole in the bottom right box. This forces you to place one mole in the bottom and 12 grams of carbon on the top. Multiply the numbers on top boxes and divide by the numbers in the bottom. You should be able to cross out the mole units and calculate your answer to be 42 grams of carbon. When determining significant figures, the one mole is an exact number and is ignored. So you will look at the 3.50 and 12 to determine your significant figures, which should be 2. Let's try number 2. You are asked to convert 153 grams of magnesium to moles. Make your t-chart and put the given in the top left with units. Then place only the units in the conversion factor box. Pause the video while you do this. Now that you have 153 grams of magnesium in the top left box, grams of magnesium in the bottom right box, mole of magnesium in the top right box, next you need to determine what number should go with grams of magnesium and mole of magnesium. Determine these numbers now. Pause while you are deciding. You should have placed 24 from the periodic table on the bottom with grams and 1 on top. Calculate your answer and include units and significant figures. Pause the video and then resume in order to check your answer. You should have gotten 6.4 moles of magnesium. You'll need two sig figs since there are three sig figs in 153 and only two sig figs in 24. Problem number three is a little different. You are asked to convert 3.5 times 10 squared grams of copper to atoms. Go ahead and construct your t-chart. Place the given in the appropriate box and place the units of the given in the appropriate bottom right box. Pause the video while you do this. You have to put grams in the bottom right 
and it's equal to one mole, so you're forced to put one mole on the top. You will notice that atoms are not present. This means that t-chart needs to expand out one more step. You are forced to put mole in the bottom right of the next section. Then you are able to put atoms on top. Pause the video and put the correct numbers with the correct units, then check your work. Cross out any units you can, and then multiply the top numbers and divide by the bottom numbers to get your answer. Be sure to round for significant figures. You should get 3.3 .3 times 10 to the 24 atoms of copper. The rest of the problems on this worksheet are worked out for you on this video. However, I want you to try the next one on your own. Read question 4 and pause the video. Solve the problem and then resume the video to check your work and answer. Continue to work and check your answers with the key on the board or with the video. Be sure to pause the video before trying each problem. In question 4, you're asked to find how many moles of oxygen gas are in 3.9 times 10 to 17 molecules of oxygen gas. Pause the video and then attempt this problem on your own and then check your work. There are 3.9 times 10 to 17 molecules in the given. That means you have to put molecules in the bottom right. And you're allowed to equate that to mole. One mole of anything is the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And when we calculate this, it leaves us with 6.5 times 10 to the negative 7 moles of O2. For problem 5, you're asked to convert 1.2 times 10 to the 24th atoms of sulfur to mass. Go ahead and pause the video and try this on your own and then check your work. You're given 1.2 times 10 to the 24th atoms of sulfur goes in the top as you're given. You have to put atoms in the bottom and that will go with moles on top. 1 for mole, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd for atoms. I'm trying to get to mass, so I know I need to keep going. I'll have to put mole in the bottom right, and then I'm allowed to put grams on the top. The grams will be 32 from the periodic table, and mole is 1 again. The atoms cross out, the moles cross out, multiply the top, divide by the bottom, and you get 64 grams of sulfur as your answer. Go ahead and try number six, pause the video, and then resume when you want to check your answer. In problem six, we want to change moles to atoms of nickel. So we have 0 0.050 moles of nickel. Need to put moles of nickel on the bottom right, and I'm allowed to equate that to atoms of nickel. One mole of anything is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, which atom is one of. Multiply the top, divide by the bottom, and I get 3.0 times 10 to the 22nd atoms of nickel. Go ahead and read number seven. Pause the video and try it on your own, and then check your answer. In question seven, we're changing grams to moles of gold. So we have 450 grams of gold, Get grams in the bottom right, I'm allowed to convert grams to moles directly. One mole of gold has a mass of 197 from the periodic table, multiply the top, divide by the bottom, you get 2.3 moles of gold. Read number 8 and try it for yourself, pause the video, and then resume when you want to check your answer. In question 8, we're converting moles of sulfur trioxide to grams of tr sulfur trioxide. 4.8 moles is my given. I have to put moles in the bottom right. 
and I'm allowed to put grams with moles. One mole of anything is its molar mass, which for SO3 is 80. Multiply the top, divide by the bottom, and you'll get 380 grams of sulfur. Read number nine, pause the video, try this for yourself, and then resume the video to check. In this problem, you have 145 grams of sodium chloride, and we're trying to get to molecules. So, I have grams of sodium chloride, that will be equal to moles of sodium chloride. I have to keep going because I need to get to molecules. So down here will be moles of NaCl, which then I can equate to molecules of NaCl. One mole of anything is its molar mass. One mole of anything is the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Cross out my units, multiply the top, divide by the bottom, and you get 1.5 times 10 to the 24th molecules of NaCl. Last problem. Read the question, pause the video, try it, and then resume the video to check your answer. In number 10 we're trying to convert 0.5 moles of silicon to atoms. So you'll start with 0.5 moles of silicon. Mole of silicon will have to go in the denominator and then trying to get to atoms, I'm allowed to say that one mole of silicon would be 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of silicon. Multiply the top, divide by the bottom, and get 3.0 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of silicon.